Chapter 33, The Foreigner. After her, Michael wasn't able to get in contact with anyone else from his past. Neither Latoya here nor some girl he used to date named Roxana. And as for the thousands of other girls Michael had had in his past, I can't remember their names. I can't remember their faces. I don't even remember our times together. I can't even tell you how many women I've been with in my entire life. And really, that's not what it's supposed to be about. I mean, seriously, what was the name of that Texas girl? I really, really liked her, for fuck's sakes. It didn't need to just be a one-night stand. If the laws of love and the stuff dictated me and her being together, how a man and a woman... Fuck, fuck her. F fuck Nikki. That ain't ever happening. Wasn't my choice. It was... Ugh. Michael needed a second. Me and that Texas girl, if it was to be, I'd want that. I would. I really, really would. Fuck. Fuck my memory. What was her fucking... I think it started with an R. Randy, R Rachel, Renee. Damn. That's all I've ever had. One one night fling after another and only two relationships ever, really. Truth of the matter is, with most women, I can't go past sex. I can't. Something within me just won't allow me to. Sometimes I'll stay a little while longer with them than I feel like I should. And after a couple of days, I'll get really, really fucking awkward around most and will want to leave. And there were a lot of them that wanted me to stay. But I felt like I had to move on for some strange reason or another. Since I've been out of prison, I've had a lot. And before that, I, when I was younger, man. And as for the ugly side of it, a lot of them got really mad. Really, really fucking mad when they saw how I was already moving on after our encounter. Calling me a dog, a heartbreaking piece of shit. Home wrecker, a bunch called me since they were married. And then they'd start crying and spitting, some then try, you know, trying to hit me. And then there's that one that decided to come after me with a knife that I had to subdue. What's wrong with me? Why don't you love me? Why this and why that? They'd cry and expect all those tears to somehow win my affection over or I don't know what. But truthfully, most of those tears just makes me hate them in a way as I'd see something into them I really didn't like. I'll see gorgeous, simply gorgeous women that will start off looking to be on top of the world. But once I dumped them, they'd be reduced like that, going, why don't you blah, blah towards me and all. And it will make me not like them then. And worse yet, look at them all pathetic. And man, I don't. I hate when that happens. But there was more to it than that, Michael figured. Truth is, after sex, I lose my magic. I do. I just do. And it's real magic, too. I do believe it. But I lose that thing that got them in the first place, and they're not going to want me then. They're not. They'll cry their eyes out and act so wronged and victimized for what I'd done. But I know I'll, I'll know for a fucking fact, for I can just feel it in my bones while they're boo-hooing at me. If it was the other motherfucking way around, and I was the one crying my eyes out for them, giving the exact same spiel, they do the exact same thing to me. And this should be in a heartbeat. So even if I did stay and decided to grow with them a while, take a chance with what they were willing to offer, they'd eventually grow apart. Once they saw the magic was no longer there, and really, I'm just as much of an awkward, average fucking nobody as anyone else. And when they realized that, they'd abandon me. So fuck them and their boo-hoos. Fucking hypocrites. Me breaking their hearts wasn't something I enjoyed doing. It was, it was just something I did to spare me and also them the heartbreak of having to go through all that process. Everyone wants something special. They want magic. Can't just accept their pitiful selves and all the other pitiful people around them and maybe find something else to... Michael, are you all right? Asked Latoya. Ah, shit, I'm slipping again. Shit, stop it, stop it. Before Latoya sees the truth. Stop, stop, get back, get back in character. 
Yeah, of course, Bay. Why you ask? Asked Michael, journey facing up something mad and maxing it up to 11, which was a little off-putting. Fix that. Michael checked himself and once again had his persona back in tune with how he'd like it. At least on the outside. As he continued with his inner monologue spiel with the woes of the nightlife. I ain't rich. I ain't classy. I'm not even a financially or, or an emotionally stable person. Truth is, I'm ten times more batshit crazy than most of them, most women, that have claimed to have been as nutty as that woman from that Fatal Attraction movie. I know these things, and I know really they wouldn't want nothing to do with me if they found out I ain't got nothing to offer beyond one hot night. They'd eventually ditch me. I know.